You know, like when you talk real talk and that, like it don't, it don't, it never reaches the people it really needs to reach. Yeah. For example, so I've made videos talking about how young people can get apprenticeship. A hundred, two hundred views. I made a video about how young people can get on the property ladder. And then I made another video about how to get on the property ladder. Yeah. Um, I've made other videos and that could, that could be inspiring to young people. And yeah. Ain't none of them all together. Ain't none of them even wrapped up a thousand views altogether. Then I can make a stupid video about I drank five liters of water every day for a month, and this is what happens. And that video will get a million views because we, we live in a stupid society, fam. That, that that that's all I can fucking say. That's all I can say. That is all I can say. And you know what, like. Obviously, like let's say for example, my team got and made you thinking it because I know like I, I I follow that page on Instagram, innit? <clears throat> um let's see like let's say like my team went on uh, made you think. You know, the majority of the comments I would get are just gonna be bare pushback anyway. Like man will be talking. I remember like even one time, you lot know who Bobby Cassandra is, innit? Um Imagine, like, <laughs> blood, I was in my yard. Yeah, I remember I was sitting right here, innit? And I see, like, oh, I got quite a few followers, like, just randomly, like, 10 followers on Instagram. And I'm like, what's going on? Anyway, boom. I see my name get tagged in a video. So I'm like, nah, no way. I've clicked on it. You know Bobby Kazanga from um, uh, Big Ego Media, innit? Yeah. He must have uploaded one of my videos to his channel. Now, it was one video I was sitting in my car and I was talking about uh, um, how I was able to buy a property at 24. And I was basically just saying, like, I got put on a wage of uh, 28 grand a year when I was 21. And then I still lived at my mum's house. I was on about 1,800, 1,900 take home. I was spending about eight, 900 pounds a month on bills and living. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just save a grand a month. And I've done that for three years. Lived a minimalistic lifestyle. Blood, like, listen, let me tell you something about living a minimalistic lifestyle. Blood, like, look at my fucking living room, fam. I ain't even got no fucking furniture. Now, it's not because I ain't rich or... Me, I don't give a fuck about, like... Eventually, I will get furniture and that, innit? I'm, I'm, I haven't not got furniture because I'm cheap or whatever, innit? But I'm too busy to be relaxing on the sofa, innit? Yeah, let's just put it that way. Innit? But me, I left... I lived a minimalistic lifestyle for three years and that's how I was able to, to buy a property, making sacrifice. I went on videos and shit and like, so I went on holiday snapping and oh, I'm in this location and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cool now. No, none of that bullshit. None of that bullshit. But anyway, so that Bobby Kasanga guy, he uploaded my thing. He didn't even know who I was. So I'm not saying you should know who I was, innit? but he didn't even know who I was. He must have saw my video on the Blue Channel, innit? Shout out Blue Channel. Go and follow Blue Channel on Instagram, innit? Yeah. Best fucking urban content page ever, really. Yeah. That page, they always have man cracking up at that. But yeah, go follow in, uh, the Blue Channel on Instagram, innit? Um, the Blue Channel must have uploaded my thing, and then Bobby C on the Blue Channels. So then he threw up my thing on his page, but he didn't know who I was. So he was like, oh, Blue Channel, who is this guy? So I can tag him in my thing. But some of uh, Bobby Kasanga's followers follow the Blue Channel and they know who I am. So a couple of people posted and said, oh, that's JYS TV or whatever. And so I was shocked. I was like, rock. Obviously, my man, I watched um, Bobby. I was even watching one interview today, innit? Yeah. Uh, with a couple of men and that. So, yeah, I watched my man's thing. And I was, uh, oh, oh, I felt good to, for my man to throw up my thing on that. But even then, I was still getting bare pushback on that video. I'm talking about, yeah, I was 21. And now at the time, uh, I was 27 or 28. Yeah, I think I was 27. But anyway, I was like, yeah, I bought the puppy at 24. And man are in the comment section and, uh, and oh, oh, he's changed shit. Just, you know, like bare hating and that. So I'm just thinking like, if, even if I throw up my thing goes on, made you think and that. Most of it is just going to be pushed back and that. Most of it is going to be bare pushed back. Man, are talking about, oh, he's really 30 years old, he's lying. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, fam. Come on, man. You know what it is? You see on them urban content pages and that? My team will never do well on a lot of those urban content pages because the urban mind is all about flossing. 
is all about, oh, let me drive this Mercedes and that, but I ain't about that lifestyle. Fam. I'm not about that lifestyle. And so my philosophy, my way of thinking, they ain't gonna sit right with a lot of these 21 year And you know, it's not even about age, it's just people in general. Cause you still got a man out here, who's 35 years old, and they ain't got no property in that, and they ain't striving to buy their own property. They ain't got no money saved up for no property, but they got a car outside. You see me and that person there, me and them type of man there, we can't talk. We ain't got nothing to talk about that. We ain't got nothing to talk about, blood. We ain't got nothing to talk about. And that's most of them people that follow all them urban content blog pages and that. Yeah. A lot of them people there that follow all them urban blog pages and that. They got that type of mindset where they just want to like, you know the man that they just want overnight success? Oh, this thing's popping, so let me invest in this thing. Like, basically there was one guy that made one video and he was upset that he never invested in GRM Daily. And now GRM Daily's popping and that, innit? Yeah? All right, cool. <sighs> I must have left a comment said invest in poppy. You know, They've really got on to man. Yeah. Now they can fucking verify. They they basically try cyberspace bully, man. Yeah. I left a comment on one video because one rapper basically didn't invest in um GRM daily. And I left a comment saying invest in property. Like I didn't even mean anything to me. You know what you just say what you think. Yeah. So I just type, yeah. Well, I got like 40 comments, like push back, like not even push back. They try, they try cyberspace bully Jay Wise, you know. A man was saying, you should delete your Instagram account. You're not Jay Wise. To remove Wise from your name. All that kind of madness, you know, because I said invest in property in it. My philosophy is like, you shouldn't be looking. See, this is why black people won't prosper as well. A man's always trying to jump onto what is hot, what's popping. No, bro, why don't you try and make your own success. Why are you just trying to, this is the problem. Man are trying to, man don't believe in uh, long-term success. Man believe in quick, short-term success, overnight success. It don't work that way, fam. There's no shortcuts to success. This is why I always say, I've seen a lot of shops come up in Tottenham and Edmonton, a lot of Caribbean shops. And within a year, they've gone bust. Do you know why? Because they was expecting to come up and start popping. No, fam. This take takes a long time, you know. There's no such thing as overnight success. You are going to fail in life. Yeah. And if you don't fail at first, you're gonna get it's gonna be really slow. But a lot of people don't understand this. And it ain't just black people, it's people in general. But a lot of people don't understand. You're not gonna be successful overnight. You're not going to be successful overnight, man. Things take time. Yeah, you learn to be patient. Yeah, patience is the key. Things take time. Imagine, I had to save up for three years. All right, really and truly, I didn't have to save up for three years, but I saved up for three years and I was in a position where I say, like, okay, yeah, boom, I'll buy a property. Now, really and truly, it wouldn't have taken me three years because the money I spent on the property, like this property, I had to put down a deposit of 13,600. So one free, 600, yeah, 13,600. Solicitor's fee was two grand. Some little idiot fees in there, here and there, grand. Let's say 16 bags I put down towards this house. So if I'm saving up a grand a month, let's say after 18 months, solidly I can have enough money for this property. So I didn't have to wait three years. Yeah, it's a year and a half or whatever, isn't it? But um, a lot of men, they, they wouldn't be able to wait that long. Ah, man, this property thing's taking too long, man. But you know what? That car I need for buy, you know? Yeah, man, I, I want to buy that car, you know? No, nah, fam. Mm -mm, nah, man, you need to be patient, man. You need to be patient, man.